Hello, welcome to my channel once again. Today, we are going to learn the 10 in words and out of the, the, the books. For the purpose, before we start the lesson, for the purpose of those who are watching me for the first time, that is watching my channel, Accounting for Business, for the first time, let me introduce myself so that you know your teacher. My name is Daniel Amapu, an ACCH accountant. I provided accounting services, such as bookkeeping and other, and also teaching accounting more than 20 years. I don't want to waste your time. Let us get straight into the video. So those who are watching me for the first time, this I teach. I prepare simple notes, and I go through the notes while going through, I will explain it, so that at the end of the day, you understand whatever topic that you so today our, our lessons are written in words and out of the books. Let us start. Learning objectives. A. Know what a return in words and a credit notes are. B. Know what a return in words the book is and how to record transaction, transactions in it, including also the sales ledger and the return in word account. C. Know what a return at words and a debit note are. D, know what a return at all the books are and how to record transactions in them, including the purchase ledger and the return at all account. So lesson one, return invoice. What is a return invoice? These are goods sold to customers and returned by them. It may be due to many reasons such as goods damage in transit. So when you sell goods to, to customers, and they may return some of the goods, probably due to uh, wrong goods being supplied or the goods being damaged. When they return it back to the company, you say returning what, what they return it back into the company. So the goods to your customer return back to you. So you say it's a return in work. Okay. Two credit notes. These are issued to customers for return goods. To distinguish from an invoice, it is printed red in color. It is called a credit note because when goods are sold on credit, the customer's accounts are debited in the sales ledger. Therefore, when they return some of the goods, their account should be credited to reduce their debt, hence the name. It shows the dates, names, and addresses of seller and buyer, credit note number, details of the items returned, and total amounts. Amount. So let me explain what a credit note is. It, according to the double entry system, please, I've made a, uh, I've made a video on the double entry system. Go to the show more session, click on it, and watch that video so that you understand the double entry system. But simply, it means that every trans transaction should be recorded twice because there's one giving out the goods and there's one receiving. The one who is giving out the goods will be credited, and the one who will receiving the goods will be, will be debited. And we are saying that whenever goods are sold to customers on credit, you go to your, your sales ledger account, and because you are receiving the goods, you debit all of them. And you go to your general ledger account, and your sales account will be credited. So when they return the goods back, you have to go back to the, the sales ledger account, the individual account that you have debited. And they say that you have, you have to credit them all in order to use the other. That's why we say, well, it's a credit note. And to distinguish it from a, a, an invoice because they look similar. The credit note and the invoice look similar. That is the credit note is what printed red. Let us continue. And these are the information that will, will be found out on the credit note. The information are what? The date, the date that they have returned the goods, the name, that particular customer that is involved, and also addresses of the seller and the buyer. So you have you on the credit note, you see the addresses of the seller and the buyer. The credit note number, you see the details of items returned, or the details and the total amount involved, uh, all be on the credit note. Three, let us go to three. What is A? A return in what day book or journal. This is a subsidiary book of account whereby daily return of goods sold on credit only, but not what cash is. Are recorded. So the return in what day book or journal is a subsidiary book of account whereby daily returns 
of what? Goods sold on, on credit, not on cash. Let me explain the difference of, the, between goods sold on credit and goods sold on cash basis. When you sell, so when you sell goods on credit, that means the customer, they make payment in future. Payments are, are not made immediately. But when you sell goods <coughs> for, for cash, that's cash sales. The, you, as soon as you sell the goods, the customer, the customer will pay for, for the goods. And we are saying that for the return it was uh, the book. It is purposely to record goods sold on credit. So when they sell the goods on credit, or you record it, and it should be daily recording of, uh, of it. So the purpose of the uh, return it was the book, it to daily record what the goods sold on credit. On credit. So that's the uh, purpose of the return it was the book, or the sustainable book of, the, of, our, of our account. Okay, so it's for daily recording of what return it was to sold on credit. Okay, B, sales ledger. These are personal ledgers to record individual receivable or debt. So, as I said, the double entry system, when they, uh, you sell the goods to them on credit, you open the individual ledger in the sales ledger and you credit to all of them. So, when they bring back uh, the goods, you have to go back to the, uh, to the sales ledger and credit them all. So, the return, you use the return in was book. And the individual names that appear on that, they pretend the goods. We go to the sales ledger again, and we are going, going to credit all of them in the, in the sales ledger. Okay. C, return in what account? This is account to record total returns for customer. This account is found in the general ledger. So as I'm saying, once they return the goods, you go to the sales ledger and the individual, you, cre you credit all of them. Then the corresponding entry, because it's a double entry system, the corresponding entry is that you go to the general ledger and the general ledger, you, what? you go to return in what account and what debit. Let me go over again. When they return the goods, you go to the sales ledger and their individual accounts, what you credit. Then what the return goes. Then the corresponding entry will go to the general ledger. For the general ledger, you will find the return in what's account and you debit. You debit. Okay. Four. Return in what they will proceed. At. So that's uh, you have come to learn how you record the return in what they will. A. Take the credit note and record the following in in the return in what they will. So we use the credit note to record. The, the return or in what they do. A, the date, the date on the return, on the, on the credit card, it shows the date that the goods what are returned. So the date, in the way we receive our that the person returning the, uh, the goods, the goods or goods. I, I, credit note number. So the credit note number will also be recorded. I be each amount and total sum or amount involved. So the amount of the return was that the, the value was recorded in the full year. The sales ledger page, the customer account can be traced. So the full year column is to record what? The page number, whereby when you go to the sales ledger, you can trace the, the customer. So uh, the purpose of, this, of the full is to make what? Tracing of the individual account in the sales ledger very easy because it shows the page number whereby that. That has been individual account can be found. Okay. Then see, after you've recorded all the items from the credit note, it was onto the what onto the return in what they book. Then this is what you do. You take the uh, you take you take the the return in what they book. Then you individually, each one of them, or you transfer the amount. See, you transfer the individual account to the sales ledger. So you take the return in what they book, and all those who have returned the book, you go to their sales ledger and you, go, you credit them one after the other of the amount of goods returned in what in their sales ledger. Then D, 
take the total sum to the return in what account in the general ledger. So to complete the double entry, then the total sum in, involved, the value you take it to the uh, return in what account in the general ledger, and you also you also uh, debit it there. So let's just look at a sample of a credit note. This are a credit note, note loose, like credit, credit note number. So this one is CR, CRN3389. Then we have the address of the seller, which is in this case, Mr. Williams, 26 month for three, and the date that the goods were returned, 11 June 2018. And the and the address of what of the of the buyer that's more limited in this case that's more limited and address 32 new street and these are the details the details that should be there that is so we have the details the price each and the total amount so the details two laptops that have been returned and the price is each is what two thousand dollars and the total amount is of four thousand dollars so this is a sample of a credit note let us proceed So this is the credit note. The, the from, from the credit note, you use it to, to record the return in what they do. So this is how we are going to record it. You see, we have the date, which is 11 6, 2018. So when you come here, 11 June 2018, that's it. Then we have the details. That's monitor who this is the person returning the goods. That's monitor. We have the, the details. The details we have is named the, the note number that's the credit loan num number it is CR RN3389. So that's it. That's the number CRN3389. Then the polio. Since so you can just one limited account can be found in six ledger page 22. That is the purpose of the polio so that we can trade just one limited account easily. The amount is for four thousand dollars and that's it. So that's how we use the Credit note to record the whole, the return in what they do. Let us proceed. So, example two from the return in what they book of Mr. Williams, prepare the sales ledger and the return in what's account. So, we are going to use the return in what they book of Mr. Williams to prepare what the sales ledger and also what the sales ledger account of the, of the individual who have. Who have returned the goods? Then from there, you go to the general ledger and what the return in was account. Then also you record it there. So you, you let us go to how are we going to do it? So this is the return in what the book of Mr. Hot, Mr. William. So we have the dates, the details, note number, folio, and amount. So let us go to 21st 9, 2016. That's the date, 21st 9, 2016. Details. That's one limited note number. That is the credit note number. CRN2687. Folio. S12. That says ledger page 12. Amount $10,000. The next one, dates. First in 2016. Details. Honest Limited. Note number. That's credit note number. CRN3680. Folio. Says ledger page Page 20, so S20. The amount is about 38,500. The next one did 15, 2016. Details, months limited. Note number CRN 3891. Folio S25. Amount is about 8,500. The next one did 8, 10, 2016. Details, Thomas Limited. Note number. CRN3950, Hulu S30, the amount of $7,500. The next one, 5th, the date, 5th and 2016, it is Jones Limited, those number CRN3958, Hulu S35, amount of $6,000. Next one, date 17. 1710-2016, details, Black Limited, Dot number, CRN, 4055, Folio, 
as a 49 and amount about $9,400. The next one, the 19-10-2016, details, Siemens Limited, note number CRM 50-50, Polio SL 51, the amount of $5,000. And the last one, 22nd-10-2016, that's the date and the details, H Snow Limited. Note number, the credit loan number, CRM 3756, and the full is uh, 50%, multiple 2,800, and the total sum is 87,000. So from the return in what they book, let's see how we are going to transfer it individually into the sales ledger account of the personal ledger. So when we come to the sales ledger, the personal ledger, that's how we are going to and I said that once when we sold the goods on there to them, we uh, on credit, we debit all the account. So when they are returning the goods, we are going to credit all of them. So we, let's see how we are going to credit them in the sales ledger. So the first one, 21st 9, 2016, the details is that small limited. We don't record the credit note number in the in the in the ledgers. So we exclude it. Then follow as like 12 and the amount about ten thousand dollars. So when we come to the sales ledger, page, page 12, that's what this folio, page 12. That's one limited, that's one limited. So the date is what uh, we, we are credited, we are credited it so on the, on, on the right side of the, of the ledger. Date 21st, 2016, that's it. The particular return in what's account because the corresponding entry will go to the general ledger in the return in what's account. And the polio are the 29. I assume that this return was the, the, the number is 29. That's why return out the 29. And the amount is for $10,000. That's what is this. So the next one is this. So the next one is. First, date first time 2016. The name is one, Honest Limited. We have to exclude it all. It will not appear in the this letter. And the folio is L S L 20. The amount for 38,500. So when we come here, pay 20, which is the folio. Honest Limited. That's Honest Limited. Then we are crediting it. Date first time 2016. First time 2016. Particularly, returning was account. Polio, RD29, as I said, I assume this one is pretending was the book 29 and the amount of what $38,500, which is this. So the next one is this 15th, 2016, months limited, six ledger 25, as a 20, and amount is $8,500. So let us go to the next one. So page 25, months limited, date. 15, 2016, particular RI, I, the amount for you, RD29, the amount for 8,500. So let us look at the next one. So the next one is what? 8, did 8, 2016, Thomas Limited, S30, the amount for $7,500. So that's it. PG30. Thomas Limited, we are crediting its own date, 8 and 2016, particular RIA, folio RD29, and amount for $7,500. So let us look at the next one. The next one, date is 15, 2016. Then, the date is Jones Limited. This is ledger 35, the amount is $6,000. So let us go to it. So that's it. P, PG, PG, number 35, just limited. Date 15, 2016, particulars, RIA, polio, RD, trade, and the amount was $6,000. Let us, so we are crediting all of them for the return of the goods. The next one is 17th, 2016. 
and it was black limited as the details. The polio is what S reporting amount nine thousand four hundred dollars. So that's it. Page import black limited date. 17, 10, 2016, categories, RIA. We tell you what's a candidate general election because from the entry, that's where it's coming from. Fully RD29, and then amount involved, $9,400. Let us move on to the next one. The next one, date 19, 10, 2016. The president was T Mains Limited. Six ledger, fully six ledger, 51, and the amount for $5,000. So let us look at that one. So that, that's it. PG 51, TTAPS Limited, it has been credited. It was returnable to date 9 10, 2016 particulars, RIA. The returning was account, the consolidated trick of the fund, the general ledger, the fully. I did 29. That's why I said, I assume that. Everything was the, the pages one. Well. The number is 29. So I read it 29. And the amount is about $5,000. So let us look at the last one. So the last one, the date is 22nd, 10, 2016. And the date is the person is H Snow Limited. The pool is 55. And the amount is for $2,800. So let us look at the last one. So PG, page 55, Snow Limited, credited date 22nd, 10, 2016, particular RIA. The term was account corresponding to company funding and the polio RD29. I said, I assume that the returning was the book is what the number is 29 and the amount is for $2,800. So we have done with the sales ledger that the personal account, we have turned the question, we have put credited them all. Then we take the total sum. So the total sum is $87,700. We take it at the end of the month, we take it to what the general ledger can be found in PGT. So 30th and 26th, at the end of the month, we transfer all to, to the general ledger. So general ledger PGT. Yeah, it was, the amount transferred is $87,700. It had to be debited by the corresponding entry. So that's the general ledger. So general ledger, page 80, return in what's account. It had to be debited in order for the double entry to complete. Did 30th and 2016, particular return in what's value. RD29, that's the return was the book 29. And the amount involved is what? 8,500. So the, 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 the double entry has completed, because, or has been completed because what? You go to the sales ledger or the personal account, you credit all of them. So the corresponding entry, we come to the general ledger, and what? We what? We debit all of them, the return was account. So the purpose, of the return in was the book is what is to make sure that we don't take a, a individual amount to go to the general ledger and we go and watch a WW general ledger the return in was account one after another. No, we take the total sum to your to the general ledger. You see, we take the two thousand to the general ledger, and what we debit instead of what debit the retaining what the general ledger one after that, it will make it untidy and so numerous entries. So, in order to prevent that, we use the retaining was what we will make sure that every the daily whatever item we will return, we record all to the credit note on the into the quarter on the return return in what they we record all then when we finish. What we take it to the personal lab, we will credit all of them one after the other. Then we take the total sum involved to the what to the general ledger and the return was account we what we debited. So that's the purpose 
of what they return in what they do to prevent entering so many entries, numerous entries into the general ledger. You just make sure that at the end of the month we take the total some some day. So we have come to the end of our, our lesson for today. We will continue with the with the with the return at was account. So please, this is what I want you to do for me. Like and share the video. Tell your friends about it. Share them the video so that you know this particular channel accounting for beginning. And you see, I've simplified, simplified. So it, I will prepare the notes with the intention that anybody who is an accountant can easily understand. So whether you're accountant or not, you are not accountant. When you go to my notes, you understand. You understand because it's simple. So please tell your friends about it, share it to them, let them know and also tell them so that they come to the uh, accounting for beginners channel and i have so many videos because <clears throat> also i make sure that every week two or three videos is, is uploaded then also i want you to do this comment so that i can improve upon it and give you better review and the last but not the least i want you to also subscribe when you subscribe as i said i do two or three videos a week so that when any video is as uploaded can be it can be sent to you and also, if you want to learn accounting, whether you are accountant or not accountant, you can contact me. You go to the show more session. My email address and phone number is there. You can contact me so that I, I, I teach you. Also, if you are a student and accounting is complex to you, you write the exams, you don't pass. I, I can help you. So get in touch with me so that what? I help you to pass your exam, teach you so that when you go and write your exams, you pass. If I don't sit there and suffer, accounting, if you don't account, accounting exams, it tests your understanding of the subject. So if you don't understand, definitely you do. So come and let me and let me help you. Go to the show more session and you can get my book, my email, and also, and also uh, boom. So come and what that is in my heart is that I teach a student. And they go and write as they can, can, can tell me that they have come out with flying courses. That is what they are successful. Like this is my heart more than anything. So get in, 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 in touch with me. Also, as I said, I'm an ECC chartered accountant. I do bookkeeping and offer other accounting services. So if you are a business person, you need somebody to keep your books for you or do any other accounting uh, service or services for you. You can get in contact. In contact. With me. And also, as I said, if you want somebody to teach your country, you can also get in contact with me. So, watch out for my next video. Bye.